Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Please, is there anything I can do, sir? Please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 Some time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Farther troll. Meow. 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 Then it's going to be one in the wind column. One for the highlight reel, and one for the bad guy. There you go. You're going to have to say you're sorry or you're going to jail. I promise. <laughs> they refused to help me while I was in Logan County Jail and paid my bond. I think you need help in this way. You need to be what kind of help? Put in a straight jacket and take it to a loony bin. I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. But I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a live stream that was done right before good old Chrissy Boy had to go to court. Let's see what he has to say. And oh, by the way, Chrissy Boy decided to do a privacy strike against one of my videos I did several months ago. The video was 26 minutes long. This is how stupid he is. He put it as 26.30. I don't have 30 seconds added on to a 26 minute video, buddy. Why would you do that? I really wasn't planning on making a video on little old Chrissy tonight, but since he decided to do that privacy strike, we're going to make fun of him tonight, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're being harassed a lot today, and all night last night. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Because I have court, and that is what my stalkers do, is they harass me as much as possible. <laughs> Chrissy, unlike you guys, all the people that you claim are your stalkers have jobs. They work for a living. Nobody has the time to harass you because they're trying to make a living, trying to make their life better, not go to court cases and fight for their freedom. They're they're going to work. And you know what? I found a perfect video of what I think Chris would do if he was ever presented the receipts of all his lies. Let's take a look at it right now. We'll just see about that. Uh-oh. Well, maybe he made a mistake. Nope. It's airtight. Can't let this little doozy get out. And then especially any time that they can try to intimidate me when it's time to go to court. Now, since Chrissy Boy is too stupid to understand what fair use is, read it, Chrissy. I'm not going to read the entire thing for you, but here. In general, there are only two categories of fair use. Commentary or criticism and parody. Well, guess what, Chrissy? I'm doing commentary and criticism on your channel because you know what? You're a bully. Your channel, just like most of all other First Amendment frauders, is nothing but a bullying channel where you, you get your subscribers and your uh, followers, your mindless followers, to call and harass people, leave threatening emails. That's all it is. And you, can, you couldn't even do a copyright strike on my videos because you know what happened if you did? I would counter claim them. And in a couple weeks, they'd go back up. And then you know what I could do because a loss of income, I could turn around and file a lawsuit against you. And most likely, I would win. And that is what time it is. It is time to go to court. I'm running late in updating you guys. Um, so hopefully we can get this room going pretty quick. We'll see. No, I don't know the time that he had to go to court, when it was scheduled. I don't know nothing about that. But the day that I would have court, if I had court, I would not be doing a YouTube video before court. I would be getting ready. I'd get a shower, get, get my suit cleaned up really nice, shoes cleaned. I'd have all my paperwork, all my legal documents ready to go. I'd be talking to the lawyer beforehand. I would never go on YouTube 
to talk to my subscribers and my followers the same day as a court. Because you know what's going to happen? You're not going to be ready for court. <laughs> 15 minutes later. All right, so I have court uh, at 2 o'clock. And they failed to move um, the where we're going. So I got to go to Meade County, which we're not supposed to be doing that. And not because um, we're scared. <laughs> um, it's because of all the threats that have been coming to me and Tiffany telling us to stay the out of me, Kimmy. Um, and the court has taken notice of that. Um, and we have a judge from a different district. Well, same district, different county. Um, but, you know, we've made it very clear to the courts that um, due to all the threats, and you all know where they're coming from. They're coming from, you know, the people calling themselves the victims in the case. So if that's true, you're receiving all these threats and harassment that you're claiming. Well, why doesn't your lawyer talk to the judge, submit all the evidence and say, hey, this these people are harassing us. We need this to stop. We need to file a motion. We need to f file whatever whatever they can do. Arrest warrants. I don't know. But the judge should be able to stop that. So you're saying the entire Meek County is is corrupt and dirty? I don't think so. We got um, Long Island Audit got arrested yesterday. You've got Craig from uh, formerly CH and Ty, which is now the Hendrick Channel, who both of those people were exposing and are experiencing retaliation from exposing uh, government members of government. You've got me. We've got Flex of Freedoms. Um, Flex should be getting out of jail, I think, tomorrow. He had to serve a 10 day sentence um, over what we think is a free speech case. We've got Chile, the Castro, uh, delete laws. Now, with the exception of Long Island Audit, because I don't know if his charges got dropped or what happened, because I remember him talking about certain charges got dropped or dismissed in uh, Fraud or Trolls uh, live stream last night that he did. But let's talk about your charges, all the charges you're doing, you know, for what you did in Meade County. And you brought up about uh, delete laws. Well, did you see how he acted in the courtroom? So disrespectful. You know, yeah, he probably did actually get sentenced because of his actions in court. But the other, on the other hand, he has another case pending for the same exact thing that he did there. You know, the, um, all at once. I mean, we could go over auditors, auditors that have been arrested all day long and never cover every one of them. But uh, what do you all see here? Is this a pattern of trying to eliminate or stop auditing or exposing the government? A pattern to stop auditing or exposing the government. What are you, ex what are you guys exposing? I have yet to see anything exposed from you frauditors. And I'm not just saying you, Chrissy. I'm saying all frauditors in general. What are you, all you guys exposing? Absolutely nothing. All, all you frauditors are doing is clout chasing. You know, for clicks and views and GoFundMe money. That's all you're doing. And if you read this, the First Amendment, it's nowhere, nowhere does it say that everybody is a independent journalist or free press. You know, when they say f of the press for the First Amendment, that means that the government cannot restrict the press from writing what they want to write, like North Korea, Russia, places like that. And the other issue, too, is let's look at Lonnie, J Down Press. They decided, her and uh, that other clown, what's his name, Zany Zach, decided to go through a door behind a stage, even though there was no doorknob and no sign there saying you can't enter. They decided to follow the employee that went, went through there, close the door. They went through themselves in a restricted area where they weren't supposed to be. And then you got Zany Zach going to another building in uh, Florida. He, he was saying he had to use the restroom. The lady was actually kind. She said, you know, it's a restricted area. Once you go to the bathroom, you got to go back out into the waiting room. He did not do that. He went, he went right through there. As soon as they opened the door to let him in, everybody kept telling him, you're not allowed back here. You got to go. And he kept arguing with the lady. 
and a couple other people there. And please had to come back and get involved. Let's talk about the suckers that are following you guys that are donating money. $500 here, $1,000 there. Are they that stupid? They have that much money to waste? You know, and they're the same ones that are, are crying about uh, hunger in the United States and homeless, but yet they're giving scumbags like you, Chile, Auditors of America, all this money. It's being allowed, and um, we need to work on that because government employees work for us, not the other way around. And we, the people, cannot have them throwing innocent people in jails to shut them up. That is a huge violation of the First Amendment. It, it, it means, what that means is, is this country is doomed because the First Amendment is even more important than the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. Now, all our rights are equally important, but I could tell you one thing. If you break in your, into my house, you're not going to you're not gonna see the First Amendment right. You're going to see the Second Amendment rights. And, and the reason being is because it is the peaceful measure. It is the way that we're supposed to keep our government in check. And what's happening is our government is not in check at all, <laughs> not at all. So uh, as you all know, I'm going to court for what, six cases today, uh, two of them felony. He's trying to keep local governments in check. What's wrong with all these local governments? I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with any of them. I mean, I have, I have yet to witness any tyrants taking away my rights. I have yet to be thrown in jail because I, I step foot on the sidewalk. You know, if you guys really want to expose stuff, why don't you go to the federal level and go and uh, fraud at the Senate building, the Congress building, stuff like that, and, and record everything they do? And the retaliation that we've experienced has been because of their actions. Um, Chrissy boy, you're not truly the victim. You're just as guilty as everybody else that you're claiming is bad, if not worse. You know, filing false copyright strikes against people, filing the false privacy strikes against me for a video that you put in 2630, even though there's only 26 minutes of the video. You know, and of course, you know, we responded to the attacks. It was, it was the very first day after that incident where my phone was ringing my private information, the, the day after we did a records request and put my phone number on it at the jail, it was the, that night is when we started getting calls from what turned out to be jailers calling my phone to harass me and Tiffany. I got it recorded. I record all my calls. Now, I'm not saying you have or you don't have phone calls like that, but I mean, come on. If you actually had phone calls that are threatening you, you would be making videos on it. You would be publishing it to every channel that you had, every social media channel that you had. So I kind of believe you're a liar on that one because if you did have all the evidence, one, you'd be posting it, two, you'd be making police reports, and three, you'd be going to your lawyers and filing criminal charges and lawsuits against them. So. I really, really, truly believe you're full of crap. So um, immediately, the, the, the jailers for the county that that made the mistake immediately started trying to intimidate, trying to harass. I mean, we've got the sheriff's sister that's obviously harassed us. Harassed us. We've got you know the jailer. We've got the, the jail staff. Isn't it funny how everybody's at the problem? And he's always the victim. Oh, the jailer's harassing me. The guards harass me. The line cook in the jail is harassing me. The spoon is harassing me. The cockroach is harassing me. The rodent that's going down the, down the corridor is harassing me. I'm so sick and tired of listening to him cry about how he's a victim. And everybody else is the aggressor and he's the victim. It's, it's so ridiculous already. There's people all over the world. Bad things happen to them. Yes, yeah, sometimes they do cause it. But most of the time, bad things happen just because they happen. But just like all you frauditors, you create your own problems. Look at what's her name? R Riot Girl Radio. I think it's now Rage Girl Radio or something like that because she was 
uh, served a cease and desist order where she would get sued for a lot of money. Look at her crying about how First Amendment frauditing screwed up her life. What do you think was going to happen, sweetheart? You guys aren't educating us. You guys aren't teaching us nothing. I mean, do you really want to get educated from somebody like Chili, uh, this frauditor, this fool, Chrissy Boy, Zany Zack, Lonnie the Loon, Georgia Transparency? Do you guys really want to get educated from people like those guys? I don't think so. But anyways, I'm going to talk forever on this rant. So I hope you enjoyed the show. Remember to like, share, and most importantly, helps me out a lot, subscribe to the channel. Obviously, Captain Happy got a ranch who's a troll. It doesn't only apply for the Second Amendment. It also applies for the First Amendment. I have constitutional carry for this camera. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. If you want to know what I'm doing here, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Oh, man. <laughs> I cannot handle this no more. <laughs> this is bull. Yo, I can't even take it. Oh, <laughs> man, this is... I can't even handle it no more. So the time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Could you briefly tell us what the Third Amendment is? That's the walk of shame. You need to remember what you swore to protect. And my voice is terrible today. Please, sir, please don't make me sleep. Well, I'll take you. I'm not please. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Dude, please. Oh, my oh, God. Man. Don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you? You guys really don't know what you're doing in my life, because, man. Seriously, please.